Have you ever pondered how the millions of tiny microbes residing in our gut might be playing a role in the development of colorectal cancer? These microorganisms, almost invisible to the naked eye, are residents of a complex and intricate world within us, which we refer to as the gut microbiome. This bustling metropolis of microbes has been the subject of intense scrutiny and research over the past few years. These organisms, small but mighty, have been connected to a myriad of health conditions, both good and bad. Among these health implications, the association with colorectal cancer has drawn significant attention. These microbes, usually maintaining a peaceful coexistence with our bodies, can undergo certain changes, leading to a breakdown of this harmony. When the delicate balance of the gut microbiome is disturbed, it could potentially lead to the development of colorectal cancer. This is a concerning revelation, considering the prevalence of colorectal cancer worldwide. The dynamics of these microbial communities and how they influence our health is a fascinating area of research. It has become crucial to explore and delve deeper into this invisible world within us, in our quest for better ways to prevent, diagnose and treat colorectal cancer. In the next seven minutes, we will delve into the intricate relationship between these unseen inhabitants of our gut, known as the gut microbiome, and colorectal cancer. How about we begin by understanding what the gut microbiome is? Essentially, it's an entire ecosystem located within the confines of our gastrointestinal tract. This system houses trillions of microorganisms, an intricate and community consisting of bacteria, viruses and fungi. Each type of these microscopic inhabitants plays a unique role in maintaining the balance within our bodies. What's particularly interesting is the sheer complexity of the microcosm within our bodies. These minute beings are not just dormant spectators in our system. They aren't just hitchhikers going along for the ride. They're active participants in the daily operations of our health and well-being. They are engaged in continuous interaction and communication with our bodies, forming a symbiotic relationship that is vital for our existence. Our understanding of this relationship is still in its infancy, but the impact of these tiny organisms on our health is profound and far-reaching. We are only now beginning to unravel the many ways they influence our health, from digestion to immunity, and even to our mental well-being. The fascinating thing is that these minuscule creatures are not just passive residents, they actively engage in a symbiotic relationship with us, influencing our health in ways we are just beginning to understand. Now, let's turn our attention to colorectal cancer, a leading cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide. This malignancy, originating in the colon or rectum, has been a major concern for medical researchers and practitioners due to its high fatality rate. It's a disease that is often silent, showing no early symptoms and hence, making the detection and treatment processes even more challenging. Colorectal cancer is not a respecter of age, race or gender. It is a ubiquitous threat that affects millions of people every year. The medical world has dedicated tremendous resources and efforts to uncover the factors contributing to its prevalence, in hopes of discovering a breakthrough that may lead to its prevention. One key area of focus in the exploration of this deadly disease is the gut microbiome. This complex ecosystem within our bodies, comprising trillions of microorganisms, has intrigued the scientific community for years. Researchers have been investigating whether there's a link between the health of our microbiome and the development of colorectal cancer. The research community has been intrigued by the possible role of the gut microbiome in mediating colorectal cancer. The intricate interplay between these microorganisms and our immune system may hold critical insights into the progression and, potentially, the prevention of this prevalent and lethal disease. So, how does the gut microbiome mediate colorectal cancer? This intriguing question opens up a fascinating exploration into the multifarious relationships that exist between gut microbes and our immune system, and the way these interactions can influence our health. The billions of bacteria residing in our gut, also known as the gut microbiome, play an instrumental role in maintaining the delicate balance of our body's health. Some of these microscopic organisms can be detrimental to our well-being. Certain harmful bacteria, for instance, 
are capable of triggering a state of chronic inflammation within our gut. This persistent inflammation, if left unresolved, creates an environment conducive to the development of certain diseases, including colorectal cancer. However, the gut microbiome is not merely a harbor of harmful bacteria. Beneficial bacteria thrive within this community too. These good bacteria produce specific metabolites that offer significant protective effects against the onset of certain diseases, including cancer. On the other hand, beneficial bacteria can produce metabolites that protect against cancer. Interestingly, the composition of the gut microbiome can also serve as a diagnostic marker for colorectal cancer. This fascinating observation is the result of numerous in-depth studies conducted by scientists from around the world. In these studies, researchers painstakingly compared the gut microbiome profiles of two groups. These groups consisted of patients diagnosed with colorectal cancer and healthy individuals who showed no signs of this disease. What they found was differential representation of certain bacterial families in the gut microbiomes between these two groups. This difference was significant, consistent and unique enough to be characterized as a distinct gut microbiome profile, specific to colorectal cancer patients. This has led to the striking realization that our gut bacteria could indeed play the role of biosensors. This novel approach could revolutionize the way we understand, detect, and ultimately treat colorectal cancer. This opens up the possibility of using gut bacteria as biosensors for early detection of colorectal cancer. In this exploration, we have unearthed the pivotal role of the gut microbiome in mediating colorectal cancer. Our journey has been one of relentless pursuit of knowledge. We've delved into the world of microbiology, focusing particularly on the bacteria that inhabit our gut. Here we have closely examined their multifaceted roles, especially their profound influence on our health. We've also recognized their potential in identifying diseases like colorectal cancer, thus marking them as effective diagnostic tools. Furthermore, we've realized these bacteria are not just passive inhabitants, they're a living, dynamic community, acting as biosensors. We've dug deep into their nature and potential, unveiling the countless ways they can be utilized in medical science. This journey has indeed led us to discover the potential of gut bacteria as biosensors. Remember, the gut microbiome is like a double-edged sword. It has the potential to foster colorectal cancer, yet it can also detect and prevent it early. As we decipher our gut microbiome secrets, we edge towards a future where colorectal cancer can be tackled early, enhancing life quality for many worldwide. On this note, we conclude our seven-minute journey into the gut microbiome and colorectal cancer. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep your gut happy and healthy.